Hey guys, with all the storms that's swirling around us today, both physical, natural, spiritual storms and tsunamis and earthquakes that's going on around the world and in our lives, whether it be emotional, financial, relational, spiritual, or natural as we're currently going through right now. It's raining outside my house, just picked up my son from school half day today because of the storms coming. Um, I wanted to bring a word of encouragement from the Word of God. I could use it. My sweet husband is en route right now from LA to Japan. So I've got some emotional raging storms that I'm currently um, enduring and persevering through so I could really use the Word of God to comfort me to give me peace and strength and I pray that the Word of God will also bring you comfort peace hope faith and strength as you're going through your own personal storms in life Heavenly Father you are my refuge and my strength always there when I turn to you. I need your protection and your strength in my everyday life. And with it, without it, I would have no hope. Thank you for your unfailing love and protection. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Proverbs 18.10 the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Psalm 34, 7. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to shew himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. 2 Chronicles 16, 9. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy, and thy coming in from this time forward and even forevermore. I love that part. And even forevermore. And that's Psalm 121, 121 verse 7 through 8. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Proverbs 3.24 and who is he that will harm you, if ye be followers of that which is good? 1 Peter 3.13 Be doers, be followers, that which is good. Which is good in the eyes of the Lord, that is. Not in the eyes of the world or our own eyes, but in the eyes of God, which is the word of God. Amen. The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him. And the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. Deuteronomy 33, 12. Under his wings I am safely abiding. Though the night deepens and tempteth a wild, still I can trust him. I know he will keep me. He has redeemed me, and I am his child. Under his wings, William O. Cushing. That was the author of who wrote that. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Psalm 112.7 His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Is your heart fixed today, trusting in God? Do you have boldness and confidence to approach the throne of grace and trust Him? He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalm 4, 8 Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Psalm 91, verse 9 and 10 the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. 
and now in his presence I walk with delight and feel his protection by day and by night. I think of the found fountain so precious and free where Jesus my Savior was waiting for me, waiting for me, Frank Hendricks. The key word here is, and now in his presence, and feel his protection by day and by night. Psalm 91 and the promises of Psalm 91 are for those who dwell in his presence, abiding under his shadow. So let us abide in him, obey his word, love him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. That is our only true refuge. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe through all the storms that is in your life. May peace that surpasses all understanding fill your heart today, whatever you're facing. Look to Jesus, run to Jesus. Draw close to him and he'll draw close to you. Thank you for watching. God bless you and I love you all.